So my name is Felicity Waltman, and I'm joined today by Michael Deutsch, who's our VP of Products, and Marianne Koshmanek, who is a senior uh, products uh, manager on our products team who's been working on uh, My Manager 2016. So uh, what we're going to talk about today are kind of the primary new features in My Manager 2016 which include flowcharts and concept maps, so totally new diagram types that really expand the possibilities for the way you can use Mind Manager. Um, some things that people have been asking for, a lot of you work with dual monitors and want to be able to work with maps on different monitors. We're now going to be able to do that. And a number of user interface enhancements, um, which if I have time, I'll go through some of them. But you'll probably notice them as I go through the demo, starting with the fact that when topics are collapsed now, you can see here that there's an indicator of how many subtopics are hidden and that you can expand. So there are lots of really great user interface enhancements like that that I'll try to point out as I go along. Let's go to the first big topic. Oh, I do want to say one thing, which is that Michael and Marion are going to be answering questions during the presentation. So if you have a question, go ahead and enter it um, while I'm talking. And then at the end, we'll also do kind of a general Q&A question, and we'll answer questions um, through the audio. But if you have a question as we're going along, please feel free to type it in, and Michael and Marianne will get back to you. OK, with that, we will get started. So for those of you who haven't used flowcharts very much, this is a basic flowchart structure. It starts with kind of a starting point, in this case, a lamp that doesn't work. And then you have a decision topic. There's a question, is the lamp plugged in, yes or no? So these kinds of conditional topics represented by diamond shapes are very fundamental to flowcharts. And then what happens is, depending on the answer, yes or no, there are different results. You either go to a capsule, which is kind of an end state, plug in the lamp, or another decision topic. So this is the basic shape that I wanted to show you, and um, if you haven't used flowcharts before. Now here, what I've done is uh, entered a legend that shows you some of the new topic shapes that are available in My Manager 2016 that make it really easy to create either basic flowcharts or complex flowcharts. So you can see across the top, if you haven't worked a lot with flowcharts, or if you have, you'll recognize these. The capsule for the process start and end points, diamonds for decisions, rectangles for basic process, and so on as we go across. Documents are represented by these wavy boxes. And these are now all available within topic shapes. So let's say we want to add to um, this. I want to show you how easy it is to add a, another element to the flow chart. So all I do here is click on Repair Lamp, click here on the Add, going to give me a line. It's going to add a topic. And let's say I want to add a topic, which is find lamp repair place. And for that, I want to use the rectangle shape for a basic process or action. So all I do here is click do a right click, get my topic shape, go over, you can see all the new topic shapes are represented, and click rectangle. Now, if I want to add a decision uh, to this, I can go up to my menu, and you can see I have a new flowchart topic insert option or a new decision. So let's say I want to add a new decision, and then I just add that, and you'll see here are the line labels. So if I want to say, uh, find lamp repair place, and then I might set a criteria. And I might say, uh, within 10 miles of my house. And then I can say what I'm going to do, yes, 
start creating a list of the ones that are within 10 miles of my house, or no, I'm going to put those on a list in case I can't find one within 10 miles of my house. So you get the idea, and I mean the really great thing about this is that with all these different topic shapes now available with just a right click, you can create very elaborate flow charts. So for people who are doing systems diagrams or process flows or any other kind of work where a kind of process and decisions and criteria are involved, this opens up a whole new world of uh, applications for Mind Manager. So now let's talk about uh, what you do if you want to create a brand new map. It's really easy. You go up, as usual, up here to the new blank map and click on From Template. And you'll see now there's a new flowchart template and there's a new concept map template. So when I click on New Flowchart and create a map, um, then I immediately get the format of the lines with the labels um, that, you know, that I can start building out. And so from there, it's easy to add topics in any direction. And then I simply right click to format that topic shape using one of the new shapes that are available. And if you're familiar with Mind Manager, all the controls that you would normally have in terms of fill color, line color, and so on, um, you know, the text formatting, everything like that is available to you. So that's how easy it is to start um, creating your map. Let's get into a little more detail on um, a more elaborate map. So here's one that is kind of a common type of application for a flow chart. Um, namely, you know, inputting transactions, validating transactions, are they valid? Yes, we're going to sort them. If they're invalid, we're going to send an error report. Now right away you'll notice here, error report is using the document shape because an error report is a document, duh. But there's a regular Mind Manager attachment symbol here. And the reason is, is because, and this is completely unique to Mind Manager, all the intelligence and capabilities that you are accustomed to when you use Mind Manager to add notes, add links, add attachments, add icons, are all available to you within the flowchart as well. So here you can see an attachment. Oh, I have attached a sample error report. And just as I'm used to, it will pull up my sample error report in the embedded browser. So I have everything in a single view, just as I do when working with Mind Manager Maps. I can even add a task. So let's say we have a summer intern who's going to be inputting the transactions. Poor kid, I'm glad I don't have to do that. But I am going to say that the intern is going to input the transactions. So I can add task information to any of these topics just as with regular mind mapping topics. Um, I can add start dates and due dates and so on. Now, if I want to build out kind of a, a more detailed um, set of tasks and priorities, within this map, uh, what I might want to do is instead of adding a whole lot of information to the flow chart itself, I might want to add the high level information like, okay, the intern is going to input transactions, but the uh, validating the transactions and sorting the transactions is going to be done with some new systems. So I want to define the process for choosing those new systems. Well, I can add a regular tasks topic and set of tabs, tasks to the map. And um, so you can see just as if you're familiar with using my manager for project management, here you see that I've set up these tasks, I've defined the responsibilities. You can see the user interface here has been updated um, to make it very easy to see who's doing what and how many work days. Here's a note attached, a dependency, and it all rolls up. 
And the way that I do that is by entering a topic. So I might just enter a floating topic here to show you. And then I'm going to go to the design menu and pick layout. And this is where I can pick what type of topic it is, whether it's a map topic, uh, org chart, or a flow chart. So this gives me the flexibility to add different types of topics within the same um, screen, flow chart topics, uh, write maps, org charts, and so on. So it's extremely flexible to be able to have all of this in a single view. Um, you can, for example, let me just get that guy out of the way. Um, you can even have budgets. So let's say we're talking about uh, how this new transaction flow. Uh, I can add a budget within my map. Um, just as I can with any other uh, My Manager map. So you can see that within a single view, I've got the flow chart showing the process that I can review with my team and validate the process. I can then create um, a project plan and identify all the tasks and confirm who's doing what, how long it's going to take, and so on. And I can add a budget or any other set of topics so we can say at the same time, well, what's it going to cost us to move to this new process of transaction validation and sorting? And you know, one of the great things about My Manager is its uh, ability to help us communicate. So imagine that you're going to senior management with a proposal to um, create this whole new process for validating transactions. The ability to show the flow first, explain the flow, and then if the management team says, well, what's it going to take to get this done? You can then drill in, show all the tasks and the timing associated with it. What's it going to cost? Here's what it's going to cost. As you know, you can, you know, within the map, change the um, numbers and have them roll up right away. So it's really expanding the capabilities of my manager as a vehicle for communication and gaining alignment on kind of critical processes. Okay, I just want to see if I am, if there's anything else I want to do here. No. So the other type of new um, diagram type, there are a couple of new diagram types. One thing I want to show you here is that you can create quite elaborate um, flowcharts, including flowcharts that have swim lanes. And if you're not familiar with them, swim lanes are these lines that let you um, add a level of kind of detail to your maps that show uh, who is being affected by the various steps in the process or who is um, taking responsibility for the various steps in the process. And the way you can do that is, once again, if you go to new blank map template, click here on the flow charts and you'll see that we've added a concept map flow chart, a flow chart with the horizontal swim lanes, uh, here's one without the background, vertical swim lanes, and so on. And then you can also, of course, create your own, but these uh, templates will give you a really good start to creating um, these uh, very detailed and kind of elaborate uh, maps. In fact, I just, uh, my colleague and I used one of these today to detail out uh, with our global team a new process for campaign management and having the swim lanes and showing who was going to be affected by each uh, step in the prospect process was uh, incredibly useful. Let's go to concept maps. Now, concept maps are really great for showing the relationships uh, among different concepts. And so a lot of times for brainstorming, concept maps are really great and they kind of fulfill the idea of Mind Manager as a virtual whiteboard where you can just start entering topics and then you can annotate the relationship. So here's an example 
that would be hard to do in a mind map um, because it because different topics are related to each other in multiple ways. So what this is showing is, okay, how should we promote and advertise our products? I'm a marketing person, so this is something that I think about. And I've uh, said, well, there's two main ways. There's social media, which is content, and then there's pay-per-click advertising. And so uh, within pay-per-click advertising, you can actually pay to have ads on Facebook or LinkedIn. But those are also forms of social media where we have a Facebook page, we have a LinkedIn um, content, and we can post social content. So one of the great things about a concept map is that you see that Facebook, for example, is both social content and it's pay-per-click advertising. And so this is the kind of thing where you can lay out a lot of information and really illustrate what the relationships are of various concepts to each other. Now you'll see here that I have um, added priorities, uh, priority markers to, um, to some of the media. So Google's a priority one, LinkedIn's a priority one, Facebook's a priority two, and so on. Those are just random, those actually aren't. But just as with uh, a mind map, I can use filter. So I can filter on priority and show just the priority ones in the same way that I can do uh, with any mind manager map. So once again, this is a, um, a capability that doesn't exist anywhere else. If you're using most flow charting tools, those are drawing tools. And they don't have the intelligence to search on content, to uh, add priority markers, and then filter on those markers, or use the map index um, to highlight those. All of those capabilities, all of that intelligence um, is available when you create concept maps or flowcharts using Mind Manager, making them much more flexible and enabling you to really add a lot of information without worrying about your uh, flowchart or concept map becoming too complex. Because the more information you add, the more you can use markers and filters to focus in on um, those areas that you really want to examine more closely. Here's another example of a concept map, just to give you a sense of what you can do with them that is about uh, pro projects. So it's, you know, projects rely on resources. Resources include tools, time, and people. And then you see all the various relationships that flow from that. And just to illustrate that you can, you know, use colors and use the uh, line annotations to create some really nice concept maps. Now that was a pretty quick overview, so I want to open it up for questions that I know Michael and Marion have been uh, answering questions as we go along. I want to open it up so that uh, if you ask a question, we can uh, answer so the whole group can hear it. Um, I did want to mention one thing, which is that if you are interested in um, getting the new version of My Manager at a discounted rate, uh, we have a couple of promos. Um, if you're an upgrader, uh, you can learn more by going to mindjet.com slash now. And if you have Mind Manager 15 for Windows, you can pre-order your upgrade at mindjet.com slash wow. So those are some promos that we have going on. But um, yes, yeah, so there's a question. Sorry, I'm going to uh, hold on for just one sec. Okay. 
Okay, so wait. Okay, so uh, sorry, we just had to change our go to webinar settings. So we are going to start uh, answering questions, and um, we can just answer them verbally, Michael. So. Um, so, so there's a question about whether My Manager 2016 is available to download, um, uh, and the answer is not yet. The actual availability date is October 15th, um, so that's when. Uh, my Manager 2016 will be available to download um, either if you have a license to download your new version or to trial. Let me see what other questions there are. Uh, just to confirm one more time, the release date is going to be October 15th, so a couple of weeks, two weeks from Thursday, I think that is. Um, so uh, that's when you'll be able to get your hands on it. And as I said, if you do um, buy uh, Mind Manager now uh, or upgrade Mind Manager now, you will be covered. You will get the new version. So there's, if you don't have the most current version of Mind Manager or you haven't purchased Mind Manager yet, um, there's no reason to wait. Uh, go ahead and get Mind Manager now so you can get started. Uh, and then when the new version comes out, you will be sent an email telling you where you can download the new version at no additional cost. And we do have a couple of promos going, so I encourage you to check those out if you are uh, eligible for an upgrade. Are you um, so there's a question about, have you considered uh, an option to create maps without a central topic? Yes, in fact, that's what the flowcharts um, let you do. So let me just show you that when you create a flowchart, um, this looks like, it might look like a central topic, but it's not a central topic. So you can say this could be the um, final uh, stage. And you can say, um, let's see here. So this can be uh, start, then you can have um, option one, um, and so on. So it's not, um, you can add a new decision. So there is no central topic. And you can, of course, add floating topics um, anywhere, and those will also be, if you've started with a flowchart template, those will also be flowchart topics. So um, that's one of the that's one of the things that people really like about flowcharts and about concept maps is that uh, you can add lines um, anywhere and annotate them, and they are um, not uh, bound by a central topic. So, for example, I can add this here. And I can say um, yes or whatever. So hopefully that helps. Other questions? Someone asked if there are swim lanes. Yes, yeah, so swim lanes are possible. Here is a um, here's an example of a map with swim lanes. Um, and the way that you create a map with swim lanes is you go here to the uh, blank templates, you click in flowcharts, and here, for example, is a blank horizontal swim lane with blue background uh, map, and that's how you would get started. Well, 
No, uh, the question is, will the walkthrough presentation work with flowcharts? And the answer is not in this first release. So, um, so that will, that's not included in this release. All the other um, kind of capabilities that you are used to using in terms of uh, markers and notes and attachments and links uh, will work, but the walkthrough is not uh, available in this first release. Uh, so there are some people who are saying this is great. Uh, uh, in fact, I really I love this one. This person who says this is awesome. Bye bye Vizio, which is great. Um, so yes, I think that um, for a lot of people, this will provide an easier way of uh, of creating um, flowcharts. Um, uh, especially given, you know, how easy it is to kind of drag and drop and also the intelligence that these include. So someone asked, and you and I before, someone asked, can you combine all the different types of topics in the same executive map or turn or turn? Yeah, so someone asked, um, can you combine different kinds of uh, topics in a single map and the answer is yes. So in this map um, we have a flow chart on the left uh, and then we have I entered a task uh, topic over here with subtopics and um, as you can see it all rolls up um, and is if you're used to using um, my manager for project management it's what you're accustomed to. Same with budget uh, map parts are available, so I actually used map parts to drag this budget in and then modify it. And again, the way you um, add different kinds of topics to your map, you can use map parts to, um, to drag in uh, different pre-formatted topics if you're accustomed to doing that. You can also add a topic and then go to design and layout and pick uh, kind of a what I would, you know, I'm used to using a, I usually use right map, so I would click right map. You could do an org chart, and then here's the org chart. So um, just as you're used to adding. Okay, we're just at the uh, 1030 point. I know people are busy. Uh, let me, we'll do what, stay on for one more minute to see if there are any more questions and otherwise I really thank you for attending. Um, this will be uh, posted on our website. The recording will be posted. Um, My Manager 2016 will be available on October 15th. Um, so that's when you can get your hands on it. Um, it's really great. We've been having a lot of fun with it and you can see I think I did uh, tell you about all the user interface enhancements. The user interface has been updated and I think um, looks great. Um, so congratulations to the product team on that. Um, if you have been thinking about upgrading or um, if you have My Manager 15 but now that you've seen the demo you know you want to get 2016, we have some promos going on so take advantage of them. They're good through this Friday. Okay, everybody, thanks so much. Uh, we'll probably schedule a repeat version of this webinar in the next few weeks. We will post it online, so if you have colleagues or friends who were hoping to participate, um, please share that information with them. And thanks so much for attending.